What's up folks, my name is Trail, better known as Budget Bill, and today we have another stimulus update video for you. Today we are going to discuss the $2,000 big fat stimulus check that's back on the table again. This is being reintroduced by Senator Kamala Harris and Andrew Yang. We are going to discuss this today, but first, click on the like button down below as it really helps the channel grow. That's how you can support this channel and it's totally free. Y'all know we love free stuff, right? Now let's go ahead and jump right into the video. What's up guys and thanks for sticking around. So the latest news regarding the next big fat stimulus check is being reintroduced by Senators Kamala Harris and Andrew Yang. They were the recent 2020 presidential candidates and they have been a champion of the monthly stimulus check since the beginning of the pandemic. So considering right now when there are over 40 million Americans that have filed for unemployment benefits, this is a great time for the government to step in and help the struggling economy out by creating a safety net so Americans don't fall into poverty or further into poverty depending on some people. So Kamala Harris has her own plan and Andrew Yang has his own plan. So let's go ahead and discuss those right now. So Kamala Harris's plan is called the Monthly Economic Crisis Support Act, and she thinks Americans should receive a big fat stimulus check of $2,000 per month. And she wants to be applicable to individuals who make up to $120,000 per year. And if you make between $100,000 to $120,000 per year, the $2,000 uh, big fat stimulus check will be phased out, meaning you would receive less than the $2,000. And then for married couples who filed jointly would receive $4,000 per month. And for those who have children, you would receive an additional $2,000 for each dependent with a maximum of three dependents. Now she wants this to be retroactive, which would basically offer back pay all the way back to March of 2020 when the pandemic was actually announced. And then she wants these payments to last up to three months after the pandemic is over. I mean, some of us were lucky to actually get the $1,200, Kamala, so I don't know if we'll be receiving more than that on the next stimulus relief package, but we will see. Now, Andrew Yang's proposal is called the Freedom Dividend. Uh, yeah, he is proposing that every U.S. citizen over the age of 18 would receive $1,000 per month or $12,000 per year. And this applies to everyone, regardless if you have a social security number or if you don't even file taxes, it doesn't matter. And there are no other requirements other than being a U.S. citizen to receive this per Andrew Yang. And Andrew Yang wants this $1,000 per month to be guaranteed for life. I don't know about you, but I don't think the government, whether it's Republicans or the Democrats, want to give away $1,000 to every U.S. citizen in America. And speaking of statistics, there are about 210 million people over the age of 18 in the United States. And if each person receives $1,000 per month, that's about $210 billion per month. Then if you multiply that by 12 months, that's about $2.5 trillion per year. And he said for life? What? Come on now, bruh, let's be real, Mr. Andrew. I know the American people really need help right now, but that's just insane. I mean, our printers can't handle that type of volume, let alone the amount of ink it would take to print all that money. But nah, seriously, what I would like to see in these proposals for more stimulus money to actually go to the people who were laid off and then maybe a portion to the people who actually had pay cuts on their jobs. There's obviously a way to get people to submit documentation of their affected situation of the pandemic and so they can receive these types of benefits. I really hate to see people that still work their jobs from home with no monetary effect from the pandemic receiving their big fat stimulus checks and that's including myself as well maybe that can be a topic for another video but seriously we really need to get a hold of these folks in the Senate to make some fast decisions on the next steps to take they only have about four more weeks to get something done before they are due for their July recess break and in addition we know that the $600 boost on unemployment benefits will be expiring in July 
So we can only hope for an update bill that's supported by both parties uh, that will be on the table before the end of June. But as it appears, there hasn't been any more new chatter since the Senate returned earlier this week from recess. So we will keep our ears open as new information develops. And just as an update, I know that some people have still yet to receive their first Big Fat Stimulus check. Now the question is, did you receive it and you forgot and threw it away because you thought that it was junk mail? That's an important question as I talked about it on a previous video that I did earlier last week. On that video, I talked about how people have been throwing away their Big Fat Stimulus debit cards as the white envelope appeared as junk mail. You can check that video out if you're interested. Well guys, let me know down below in the comments section if you haven't received your Big Fat Stimulus check. I would love to know who those people are. Also, if you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up as it definitely helps out the growth of this channel. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, this is a great time to go ahead and click on the subscribe button down below as well as the bell next to it so you can be notified every time I upload new videos. Again, I appreciate you guys watching and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.